Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tristate EDC. Once again, uh, this is part two of that Amazon box unboxing. If you watched the last video, you know, you already know. We got an artisan cutlery. It has been so long, so long since I've, I've even touched an artisan cutlery on the channel. I'm pumped about this. This is one I've wanted since I played with it at Blade Show last year. And I, it's cheap. I had no excuse, but I, I just didn't. I just didn't pull the trigger on it for whatever reason. So we're going to bust this baby open. That's right, Artisan Cutlery. I love Artisan Cutlery, uh, especially in the early days of my collecting. Ooh, that just opened right up. I was all over Artisan, man. I love their stuff. Made in China, for those of you that don't know. Uh, the model number is 1851P-BK. BK, have it your way. Oh, now I'm hungry. We got the knife. We got a little card here. Ceramic ball bearings, G10, 59 to 61 HRC, blah, blah, blah. Just the plain Jane budget artisan box. Nothing crazy. We have the little, the little, uh, the satin sack. My favorite part of any, uh, artisan cutlery. The old satin sack. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, yes, dude. Yes, it is the Ahab. Bro, when I tell you... Uh, excuse me? Apparently, I have superpowers now. Are we seeing this? There we go. You can go away. Thank you. When I tell you the design got me going so hard, I mean, I was riled up when this was announced. And then it took forever to release. And, uh... I played with it at Blade Show, and I was like, oh, I gotta have one. And I just, I never, again, we get wild on the live streams. I can say over and over again that I'm gonna buy something, and I will forget. Until recently, I had, a, like, a gift card on Amazon. I was like, you know what? Let's pick up a, let's pick up that Ahab. Uh, I got a few other CGRBs and artisans I need to check out as well from last year, but we'll get there eventually. So this is the Ahab. I forget who designed it. Uh, Future Me, name of the designer here. Wow, great, very talented man. It is an uber thin G10 uh, uh, budget artisan cutlery, G10 skeletonized liners. And when I say skeletonized, Future Me, see if you can find a picture of what the liners look like in this knife. It's insane. It's insane. It looks like the skeleton of a fish. It's wild. Nice. Uh, I, is this titanium? Is this a titanium pocket clip and backspacer? Future me? I don't know. It's too early. I, I can't think this hard. Very nice. Uh, everything's super nice and knocked down. Nice milled uh, pocket clip. Little lanyard uh, peg back here. Super thin blade stock. Super tall blade sticking up out of those handles. Very interesting handle shape as well. Minimal hardware. And hidden pivot hardware. Which is, is what it is. Uh, it can be a blessing or a curse. It looks cool, but when you need to tighten your pivot, it's a real pain in the ass. So we'll see how that is long term. We also have these like bejeweled and bedazzled thumb studs here. Are we seeing these? They look like um, like the uh, pins of a watch to wind your watch with. That's what they look like. Very, very pretty. A very pretty knife, no doubt about it. Let's flick it open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this poon. Look at this. It's like a worn poon. We got the we got a sheep's poon? I, I don't know what it is. But it's nice looking. I just love this profile. It's evocative to me. You know what I mean? Very interesting tapered handle. Very, just an interesting shape top to bottom. A very, very interesting shape. Uh, no jimping on the blade spine, but that's okay. It's not exactly a hard use knife. Look at that. Base, that is a full flat grind with like a poon swedge out towards the tip. Super thin and slicey behind the edge. AR RPM 9 is the blade steel on this. Of course, this being Artisan Cutlery, that's their proprietary steel. It's excellent. I've had great experience with it. Uh, it's a great steel. So, Ergos in hand. Yeah. Fills the hand really well. Full four finger grip. No issues. A little bit of sharpness down here from the G10 behind the lock bar. Lockup solid, by the way. Lockup is solid. So if you're choked back and like way back and you squeeze, well, I guess it just depends on how you're holding it. Thumb on the blade here, tuck in behind the harpoon. Feels great. Feels so nice. We don't have a choil, but we also don't have anything to protect our hand from sliding up onto the blade. I don't see that being an issue. You know, I'm a pinch grip guy. I'm a pinch grip connoisseur, if you will. So I don't see that being an issue. It'll be fine. 
Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. It feels good in the hand. Feels great. No hot spots other than this little sharp bit down here. I'll probably knock that off with, knock that down with like a little bit of sandpaper. Done deal. Done deal. It just like wasn't finished well in the factory. Not a big deal. Not a deal breaker in the slightest. Very good. Very nice. Pinch grip feels great with that harpoon. Choke up right behind the blade there. Thumb on the poon. Choke way back. Oh, it feels good. It weighs nothing. Excellent ergo so far. Good stuff. Totally good show. I can't get over the, the liners in here. They're insane. <laughs> uh, action. Let's check the action. Running on ceramic bearings once again. Yeah. Really easy to get a hold of those thumb studs. Uh, a little bit awkward to disengage, if I'm being honest. It's not that the access to the uh, lock bar is difficult. It's that it's like polished and super smooth. So you like slip off of it. Does that make sense? There's no texturing or anything on the uh, lock bar right here. It's just like a bejeweled piece of stainless. It is what it is. But that being said, move it aside. Action's great. Especially for how light and thin that blade is. Reverse flicks, thumb flicks. All day, baby. All day. Very satisfying thwack when you open it up. Good stuff. I did buy both of these, by the way. I did buy this with my own money. Artisan, what's the deal? Hook a brother up, you know? Let's check the acoustics. Solid. Very satisfying. Thwack. You know what I mean? I dig it. The AAB, ARRPM9 uh, steel on that blade. Like I said, it's a full flat grind. So it's bound to be good and slicey, but we got to put that to the test. The phone book's downstairs, and I can't be bothered to get it. So, we got the uh, we got the U-Line catalog here. That's what we're using. Oh, yeah. Oh, that factory edge. Oh, yeah. I mean, that blade... Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. That blade is the main reason I was interested in this knife. The aesthetics, for one, but the, that blade, it just looked so... It looked like it was ready to slice some paper. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm here for, baby. The junk mail doesn't stand a chance against this. Great factory edge on it. Super, whoops, I hate the U-Line catalog. It's so finicky. Super thin behind the edge. Big fan. It's been a long time since I've had a, an artisan in the house. I'm pumped about it, dude. A new one anyway. God, what was the last one I bought? No idea. No idea. But that is the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. I will leave links for this down in the description. And I will find discount codes. I have a handful. So if it's in stock anywhere, which has been an issue with this knife, even for the past eight months... Uh, I will, uh, I'll find you some links, I'll find some discounts, I'll put them down in the description, top of the description. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Not the full review, just the unboxing. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. That's my first impressions right there. I dig it. One little hot spot, other otherwise. I dig it. I dig it quite a lot. The Ahab, uh, plenty of pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to follow us there. But that is it, so thank you all oh so very much for watching. Bye-bye now.